Hey guys, welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I am super excited because I finally get to share with you my honest thoughts, feelings, and unsponsored opinions on this product, the Ordinary Retinal 0.2% Emulsion. Now, this leaked online around two weeks ago and I've been inundated with questions asking what my thoughts are on it. I'm gonna share it all in today's video. But we're also gonna take it a step further. We're not just gonna review this product in isolation. We're actually gonna compare and contrast it to some other amazing retinal serums on the market so you can work out which is perfect for your individual skincare needs. Sit back, relax, let's talk the Ordinary, Retinal. Now, before we get into this video, I would love to know your thoughts, feelings, and opinions on that ordinary launch. Let me know in the comments section below. After you've watched this video, seen how it compares and contrasts, let me know by if you think this is a great product that you're thinking of maybe trying out. Leave a big thumbs up emoji in the comments. If you think this just isn't going to be for you and isn't worth the hype, again, let me know by leaving a cross emoji in the comments so I can weigh it all up and see what the court of public opinion thinks when it comes to this latest launch from The Ordinary. Whatever you think of this product, if you enjoy this style of content, unsponsored skincare reviews. I don't do sponsored content here on Mad About Skin because I think by turning down that coin, it just enables me to be truly independent when I talk about these products. If you valued unsponsored skincare content, let me know by giving the video a big thumbs up and a like. This really does support me as a content creator. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so, so much. Now, without further ado, let's cut that waffle and delve straight on in. So in this video, it's gonna be split into two parts. First off, we're gonna talk all about the Ordinary Retinal Emulsion, doing a full review of this product. Then the second half, I'm gonna compare and contrast it to some of my favorite retinal serums on the market, helping you guys to identify which is the right one for your individual skin's needs. If you want to jump to one section of the video over another, be my guest, those timestamps are all there in the description box below. I've also listed all the links for the different products mentioned in the description box. So if you want to check out the price point where you live, the reviews, the ingredients, or make a purchase, all there for your convenience. So, so starting things off with this little gem. So this is the ordinary retinal 0.2% emulsion. Now 0.2% in terms of retinal is actually sky high. I know 0.2% doesn't sound like a lot when you say it, but it all depends on the individual ingredient. You know, a 10% of one thing can be a lot less potent than a 0.2% of another. And retinal, you really don't need high concentrations to get sky high results. Retinol is part of the retinoid family alongside retinol, retinol palmitate, tretinoin. They all come together, they're vitamin A derivatives, but they'll work in different ways. It all comes down to the number of conversions needed to take the ingredient to the retinoic acid that our skin uses for fabulous anti-aging benefits. Now, the secret and key to this is retinal is actually closer to retinoic acid than retinol goes through fewer conversions, so it actually retains its potency. And studies show you actually get more effective results when it comes to anti-aging from retinal than you do from retinol. And this is something I covered in a recent video, which I'm gonna leave a link to up there. Those studies also show that retinal is generally less sensitizing on the skin than retinol. So I would say with everything kind of changing in the market, new restrictions on retinol, some brands changing their formulations, I actually think now is a great time to switch from retinol to retinal. But let's work out whether the ordinary retinal is the product you should be switching to. I'm gonna start with the positives because I always think you know we should put out those positive vibes first. So in terms of the pros when it comes to this product, start with the price point. So this retails at 15 pounds here in the UK. Like I say, I've left links for multiple different countries in the description box. So if you use them, it'll tell you the exact price point wherever in the world you live. But here in the UK, I think 15 pounds for a retinal serum is a really fair price point. Retinal tends to come with a higher price when it comes to formulating with it. And so I definitely think the price point is what I would expect for a really effective retinal serum. I also really like the packaging. So this comes in an airless pump. Um, actually, looking at the formulation, this is stable in its own right. It doesn't need to be in an airless pump. So they've clearly put this in based on customer preference. And I know a lot of you guys out there do prefer that pump style applicator. So if that's for you, I definitely think the packaging feels, it feels robust, it feels good, and it's certainly easy to use. I also really love the formulation. Um, with retinal, as with any retinoid, you don't wanna pack a serum full of other ingredients that could potentially cause sensitivity and irritation. Retinoids in their own right are a little bit irritating, and so I like to pair back the formulations, keep it super simple. 
In here, you basically have that retinal in a real high dose concentration. You got some humectants, some moisturizers, some calming and soothing ingredients, and that's pretty much it. This is simple, but it's effective. And I actually think that's the way forward and the way to go when it comes to retinal or retinoids in general. I also really love the outcomes that I got from this. So the texture on application is fabulous. You will probably be a little bit alarmed by that coloration, but actually retinal is that color naturally. And the more retinal you have, the deeper the yellow is going to be. This is a sign of a quality product. If your retinal isn't this color, Kind of, I would question just how effective it's going to be. When you work this in, it is rich and creamy, but in a nice light emulsion. So I like the fact that you get a little extra hydration with this product, but it's not sticky, it's not greasy, and it won't weigh you down. This is definitely, definitely a type of texture I personally like on my skin, and I'd say this means it's truly universal and flexible. If you've got a more oily skin type like me, this will be all the hydration you need. If you've got a dry skin type, you can absolutely use a moisturizer on top of this, no problem at all. It doesn't pill, it doesn't budge, and it doesn't ball up. So yeah, in terms of the application, definitely, definitely love it, and the texture is just perfection. Finally, for the pros, let's talk about the results. I've been using this for the past three weeks, and I've definitely noticed it packs a punch. I did go through a little bit of dryness early on. That's to be expected from basically doubling the strength of retinol that I would traditionally use. You're going to get some dryness. So that's definitely something to bear in mind. But I love the fact that it's given me some beautiful smoothness to the skin. I love how easy it is to combine into my skincare routine. And honestly, I think it's a really well thought through product when it comes to the ordinary. Now, with all those pros, there's obviously going to be some cons. No product that I can think of is truly perfection. So let's quickly touch on those cons first. So first up, the size of this. Actually, in your hand, doesn't look that bad. This is 15 mils. Now, this will shock a lot of people because most people are used to 30 mil as the standard sizing from the ordinary. Now, this, again, I'm not the biggest fan of. I wish it came in a larger size because that could cut down on packaging, you know, make it make fewer purchases, which says saves on air miles and all of that. So I definitely wish it came in a larger product size. But still, when I think this is £15 for 15 mil, so for 30 mil, the equivalent would be £30. That is still a phenomenal price point for a super high potency retinal. The equivalent from Medicaid, the equivalent super high strength retinal from Medicaid is around £120. So even at £30 for 30 mil equivalent, you're saving a lot of your hard earned coin with this. And I still think the price point is fair. However, there are going to be those people out there, and, and I totally understand where they're coming from, that think... You know what? I think this could be, you know, better in a larger size, meaning fewer purchases, less overall packaging. I'm with you. And if the ordinary, if you're listening, let's make that a choice. Let's let's do that going forward. I think that would be a great change. I also am a little bit confused why they launched with such a high potency first. The Ordinary are known for having multiple different strengths for each of their products. This, I think, is great because it allows you to tailor the strength to your individual skin's needs. They haven't really done that with this. They've just gone straight in for the super high potency. Now, for us regular retinoid users, this is great. And this is going to be a great addition to your skincare routine. But for people new to retinal, I'm a little bit worried that they might reach for this having never used a retinoid before. And they're going to get a lot of sensitivity and irritation. Now, in fairness to the ordinary, they make it clear on their website who it is and isn't applicable for. They couldn't have done more in that space. But I still think it would be nice to have a couple of concentrations to choose from. That's just my own thoughts. But I think that would definitely make a difference. So, We've talked about this product. I think it's great. I think if you're an established retinoid user and you want to take it to the max without needing a prescription, this product is where it's at. Super high potency, really effective when it comes to anti-aging, and I think that price point is divine. This is ticking a lot of boxes. I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. I would like to see a larger size, which I'm knocking a couple of marks off for. And I think, you know, having multiple different strengths would be ideal. But 8 out of 10, this is still a ding, 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 super launch from the ordinary. But how does it compare and contrast? And should this be the retinal serum that you reach for? So retinal, like I said, great because you get enhanced results, less side effects and irritation. But there's lots of different ones on the market. So let me talk about some of my favorites and we can compare and contrast it to this. So let's start things out with this product, which is my own retinal product. This is the Mad About Skin Ultimate Anti-Aging Oil. This is actually a retinal in an oil base, which I think is going to work best for people that have a drier skin type. 
Retinol, whichever strength you go for, is going to be a little drying on the skin. So combining it with oil, particularly oat kernel oil in here, which is super calming and soothing, just makes sense for dry or sensitivity prone skin. This is great on the neck, which tends to be a more sensitive area of our face. Great option if you're looking for something to take down onto the neck and can't tolerate other retinoids on it. Now, this again, if you're looking for a good value, so this comes in um, at a really good price point for the 30 mil that you're getting, and it's currently on buy one, get one free. So that's for a limited time only, but if you did want to stock up on this, currently buy one, get one free. You don't actually need to do anything. Just put two in your cart, when you check out, one of them will automatically show as free. But yeah, I think this is a great option for very sensitive skin types, for people new to retinoids in general, and for people with the drier skin type that are looking for a little extra hydration or have an area like the neck that can't tolerate other options. I think this is a great universal, lower strength, but still packs a punch in terms of results. Coming into some of my other favorites in a slightly higher strength option. These would be this, which is the Geek and Gorgeous A Game 10. Now, the strength of this is 0.1%, so half the strength of the ordinary. This is what I mean when they say this packs a punch. Lots of people use the Geek and Gorgeous A Game 10 and get great results. And I'm saying if you're happy with the results you're getting from it, stick with it. If you're feeling like you need a little bit more, then obviously you can graduate to a double strength option from the ordinary. This pack full of hydrators, beautiful humectants, which are going to really deeply nourish and hydrate the skin. I think this is more hydrating than the ordinary equivalent and definitely prefer the base formulation. But you're not getting that super high potency that you can get from the ordinary, which I think is where this compares and contrasts. Another personal favourite of mine in this 0.1% category is the Maylove Moonlight Retinal Serum. This is divine. It is, again, has that very rich coloration you would expect from a high strength retinal. And this is really rich and creamy. Has much more of an emulsion like texture, similar to the Ordinary, than the Geek and Gorgeous, which is definitely a cream. I love this Maylove one. I think it's absolutely fabulous. It has a very unique texture and is beautifully well formulated. Most people can start their retinal journey with a 0.1%, like the Geek and Gorgeous or like the May Love. And I'd say these are the sort of strengths you want to begin with if you don't have too sensitive skin. They're going to both of them be hydrating, which is nice, and you can still use them alongside your moisturizer. But these, like I say, are very much used to be the highest strength you could get. That's before the ordinary entered the market. In a similar strength, you also have the Aven Retinal, which is super popular again. I'm going to link that below, very similar to these other products. And I think a great place to start, as well as getting some really great anti-aging benefits. When it comes to the Ordinary and this strength, the 0.2% strength, really the only other options in the market are reaching for Medicaid, which I referenced earlier is like 100 and something pounds. Obviously, go for the ordinary over that. Why wouldn't you? You know, whilst I think the Medicaid one has a slightly better formulation in terms of hydration, nothing to justify that huge price differential. This, I definitely think, packs a punch and is well priced. But there is another option in this market. This is the K Secret Soul 1988 Retinal Liposome Serum. So, this actually has the equivalent strength of retinal as the ordinary, but in a completely different base. This actually uses liposome technology to make it much less irritating. So how this works is they sort of deconstruct the retinal, add some liposomes in and then construct it all back together again. That is a very simplistic explanation. But what this results in is a much more hydrating, much less irritating formulation than what you're going to get with the ordinary. So I would say, even though this is the equivalent strength of this, because of the base formulation, you could always start with this and your skin would probably be fine. Even though it's super high potency, it would probably still work for you. This obviously is in 30 mil, so if you're a bit annoyed by the size of the ordinary one, I want a 30 mil option, this one would work for you. Very similar textures in terms of application. Um, and so I think the ordinary, whilst they are pretty unique in the market, I can only think of this one by K-Secret and of course that one by um, Medicaid. They aren't alone. And let me just show you how this works. If you can see, again, the same super high coloration, but works in in a very, very similar texture. So I would say if you're looking for maximum strength from your retinal and you want it to pack a punch, these are the two that you could go for. 
The Ordinary, great. If you want something that's really easy to get your hands on, you don't mind having a slightly smaller product size uh, because the price is still fabulous, then I think this would work well for you. If you've got a little bit of sensitivity to the skin, you're a little bit worried about just how strong this one is, then you can kind of get the same strength in a more gentle formulation with the case secret option. Both of these are phenomenal and have sky high concentrations for the maximum benefit. So, whistle stop tour, retinol, the ordinary new launch and how it compares and contrasts. Am I impressed? Yes. I think in its own right, the ordinary retinal emulsion will get an 8 out of 10. I think it's great, but I don't think it's right for everyone. If you're happy with your 0.1% options from Geek and Gorgeous, then stick with them. It's not all about chasing the percentage, it's about using what's right for you. Similarly, if you have a super sensitive skin type but still want to benefit from a high strength retinal, that case secret one might just be more applicable to you. If you want something that's easy to get your hands on, you want to try a new product that's getting a lot of hype, I honestly think this is a great, great option and a brilliant formulation from The Ordinary. Just going to caution everyone out there, don't start with this. If you're new to retinoids, please don't put this on your skin. Build up to it. It's super high potency for a reason. Start slow, work your way up. Trust me, your skin will thank me for it. Now, wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care.